I'm at the Louisville Lake Environmental Learning Area. It is Memorial Day weekend, and I'm hiking all the trails here. I hope you'll join me. This bittern trail is really beautiful. There's a lot of dense vegetation and tall trees and um, you don't see a whole lot of that in North Texas. So let me take you through the day real quick. Uh, so we entered on this side, on the west side of the park and I drove all the way over to the east side of the park and right now we're on the eastmost trail, uh, the bittern marsh trail. So we're hiking this right now and then we're gonna work our way back over to the west side hitting all of the trails should be about eight miles of hiking even though it's memorial day weekend everybody in the park seems to be fishing uh, on the spillway of the dam so i haven't seen anybody else on the trail yet and um yeah it's been pretty nice Well, looks like we have to get across some water here. This bittern trail is exceeding every expectation I had for it. That boardwalk area through the marsh was uh, really neat and um, I kind of feel like maybe I should have saved this trail for last. Just finished with the uh, Bittern Trail. Uh, what a neat trail. And uh, I drove to a different trailhead now where I'll catch three different trails um, from here. Um, so we're gonna start with the Red Bud Trail now. There's only a few cars here, so um, I'm anticipating not seeing very many people on these trails either. This nature preserve does have a campground, so uh, we're gonna go check that out now. 
and then we'll take the river side of the Redbud Trail back to the trailhead. So some of these campsites here at this uh, nature preserve are actually uh, hike into sites. So uh, you can see right here, this is not uh, this, this is not super close to any of the roads, so you'd have to hike into it. They even have a water spigot out here. I got my hat nice and wet to help keep my head cool. Um, I've gone past four or five campsites and it's Memorial Day weekend and none of them have been occupied so I can't imagine that these are used very often. So I just walked by all these campsites and none of them were occupied. Looks like nobody's at the group campsite either. That's amazing that on a Memorial Day weekend, not a single campsite had anybody's stuff in it. So uh, I guess that's a pretty good sign that they're probably pretty open and, and not a lot of people camping here very often. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll come back and do some camping. Redbud Trail is done, now on to the Cicada Trail. The Cicada Trail is a uh, short out and back, so I'm headed back now. Uh, really nice trail, gravel, um, really open, and just through the woods. Um, pretty short, only 0.3 miles. There are a lot of bugs, more bugs than the uh, other two trails I've done so far. So, um, but yeah, just a nice little short trail. All right, on to the Cottonwood Trail. Uh, the Cottonwood Trail sounds like it might be one of the uh, more traveled trails in this nature preserve. Um, it has a pond with a beaver dam and an 1800s historic log cabin. So uh, we'll see those when we get to them. This is a super neat area. Again, I have it all to myself. So the Green Dragon Trail is only a quarter mile trail um, that connects to the Cottonwood Trail and takes you from a different trailhead to the historic cabin. So I'm gonna knock it out real quick uh, just to say I did it. All right, now I'm headed back to the log cabin on the uh, Green Dragon Trail. It's a nice dirt trail through the just through the woods. Uh, nobody must have done it today since, since I've been on it because uh, I ran into some spider webs. But um, the clouds getting a little, or the sky's getting a little dark, so I think a storm might be rolling in. So uh, I'm gonna pick up the pace here, try to finish the Cottonwood Trail, and then get on to the last one. All right, we're back on the Cottonwood Trail.
I've been waiting for this cottonwood trail to uh, turn into a smaller um, trail, but it stayed this really nice wide gravel trail the entire time. So uh, yeah, it's been, been pretty nice. All right, we're about done with the Cottonwood Trail. Um, and this has been a, been a really nice trail. So, so far the Bittern and this trail have been my favorite. We have one more trail to go and that's the Black Shack Trail. So I'll show you it once we get there. All right, we're starting the last trail, the Blackjack Trail. This Blackjack Trail is turning out to be a beautiful hike too. You can hear the cicadas up in the trees probably, but it's just like immersive. There's so many cicadas everywhere. And uh, this is just a really nice trail through the, uh, through the woods. A lot of big trees, a lot of coverage, and a little bit of up and down on some hills too. Alright, I think we're coming up towards the end of the Blackjack Trail. I had been to this nature preserve one other time. I didn't have a lot of time, so I just did the Redbud Trail. Um, and I wish I had uh, done either this Blackjack, the Cottonwood, or the Bittern Trail. Because um, the, those three trails were really, really great. And uh, the Redbud is not a bad trail, but it's a little, not, not a lot on it. Um, so yeah, I wish I would have done one of these three trails. I'm uh, really glad I came back to this nature preserve and gave it kind of a second chance. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the hiking. Thanks for watching.